Hey everybody, April 9th, day 28. Uh, so, exactly four weeks ago, I tried to kill myself with a major uh, concoction of pills. Uh, 74 pills, uh, only five of them were nitol, everything else was major prescription. Um, so, there's sleeping pills, there's antidepressants, there's you know, muscle relaxants. What I did was wrong. Uh, I know that but four weeks ago today my world was crumbling uh, the woman I loved for over two years almost three years uh, was I, I found was was dating uh, someone else and not just you know a couple weeks it was she was dating him for for six months uh, since October of last year so my world fell apart. My world was crumbling. My heart was was breaking. Um, it it was a devastation that I had never felt before, and I was I was severely hurting. Uh, not just a little bit upset, but I would I was I was severely hurting. My job, my trade. Uh, what I do for a living is an HVAC R technician. What that is is heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration. Now that doesn't mean I work on on your fridge or, or your your freezer. I, I work on big stuff. Uh, so I work on like walk-in coolers and walk-in freezers, uh, bar coolers and freezers, rooftop units. Uh, primar primarily mostly residential now, just because it's it's a little bit easier on on my body. I've been doing it almost 20, well no actually I've been doing it 20 years. Um, so I love what I do, uh, but this was this woman uh, I was going to uproot my entire life for. I was going to, like we're, we talked about marriage, uh, quite a lot about marriage, so this wasn't just a one time thing. Uh, but we had talked about marriage, uh, I had lawyers set up to, to work on the visa. Uh, and she was gonna fly here. We we're gonna get married, and you know, go through everything. And then I was gonna move there. Uh, and I, I actually didn't even care what I was gonna do for a living out there. I was actually fully prepared to even just bag groceries, uh, work at a checkout, you know, sweep floors. Like I, I didn't care, because this was a woman I, I loved that much that I was, I didn't care what I did because she made me happy uh, and that was that was the whole thing is uh, but finding out what I found out um, you know or her she was dating someone else he was with her and then uh, the content that they were posting online uh, was was quite substantial and it just I, I took it all wrong I, I should have said, you know what, you don't deserve me, uh, which is what I say now. Like, uh, she doesn't deserve me. She doesn't deserve what I can offer. Um, will I ever find someone? I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty broken with and damaged with what it, everything that happened. Um, maybe, uh, but I, I've got a lot of healing to do uh, mentally, a lot mentally. Uh, physically, I'm getting there. Uh, I've just got one, one major scab left that needs to come off, uh, and then and I'm trying to take care of that one because that one's going to hurt when it when it does happen. Um, I, I've got a lot to do mentally, so I've got counseling. I'm I'm going to. I've got some meditation. I'm I'm trying to work on uh, things like that. So I I will get there. I will get healed. Um, what, what I will say is, you know, it, there are friends out there. Uh, I've, I've got some really good friends like Mason and Nicole are, are awesome. Um, I've also got a renewed, uh, actually not even, not really even renewed because uh, T and I were, were always different. Like we, we were never like-minded individuals like she's outgoing I'm not uh, she likes horses I like horsepower 
that's about the only commonalities we would actually have together is between horse and horsepower. Um, so, but my relationship now with my sister is actually probably stronger than it had ever been in the last 49 years, uh, almost 50 years. It's, I can't even explain uh, the love I have for my sister right now. Uh, we used to always fight, uh, and, and we would fight about everything. Uh, I, I hung the phone up on her when, when we started arguing about Donald Trump. We're Canadians. Donald Trump doesn't make any difference to us. Like, it, it, and, and it wasn't even, I don't even think it was election time. It was, I can't remember. It was stupid. It really was. But... We, we fought about everything. We'd fight about what color the sky was. Uh, so, but we're not, like, we're not doing that. Um, the the love I feel for my sister right now is just, uh, it, it's it's incredible. Like, it's, uh, I've, I've never, I've, honestly, honestly I've, I've never felt this love for her this way before. So, uh, that's a, one of the, that's a plus that's actually come out of this. Um, I don't suggest trying to kill yourself to, to get a, a relationship with family. It's just, it's believe me, the, the pain and heartache I go through every single day uh, knowing how low I got, how dark I got uh, was... Yeah, that's heartbreaking for me to know I, I went to that point. Um, I'm never gonna go there again. Uh, so I, even on my dark days since then, I, I haven't thought about it. I I believe in God. Uh, I believe in heaven. I've tried to live my life to go to heaven. Um, I've had a good chat with my priest. He he says uh, I should still be good to to go up there. Uh, so, I I believe that there there's still a reason for me here. I don't know what it is. I I, I just I believe I've got to believe that God's got still got a plan for me, and we'll we'll figure it out as as time goes on. But the. And that's not saying I've got a newfound thing in religion, because I, I don't believe a lot of what the church teaches. I really, really don't. I don't believe a lot in the Bible. I don't. Um, the Bible's stories, and it's uh, stories from that person's point of view from 2,000 years ago. So I, it, it'd be the same thing if I, you know, if someone opens these messages in 2000 years or it's it's going to be totally taken different than than what the meaning is so all i can say right now is um i am struggling today today's a hard day just because i mean it's it's four weeks uh i've come a long way uh this was a woman that i you know she broke my heart so much that i was actually wanting not prepared to die. Like, I'm always prepared to die. But I was actually wanting to die. So, that, to, to where I'm at now, to, she didn't deserve me. I, 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 I still love her. Um, I think I'm always going to love her. Uh, but she doesn't deserve what I have to give her. So, if you're thinking the thoughts, get some help. Talk to loved ones. They're there. Uh, just reach out. Uh, if you want to talk to me, then uh, you're probably following this from a friend of a friend. Then uh, just ask to, to reach out to me. Um, I've turned the comments off just on uh, you know the counselor's recommendation, and we will. Uh, I'll help you what I can. I'm not a uh, an expert in mental health. Uh, I can give you my viewpoints. Um, I am in kind of an expert on surviving, considering I've I, I've lost count of how many times I should be dead. Um, 
and some of those stories I'll tell later on like you know I've had car accidents that people shouldn't have lived through um, things like that so it's uh, I, I, I there's still something left for me here I don't know what it is yet but find out um, as far as anything else goes I don't know if I'll post later on we'll, we'll see what happens uh, again today today is a bit of a hard day uh, I'm gonna try and clean up the house a little bit um, but I am kind of emotional this this video here is taking me a few times it tries to to record uh, but it's it's ongoing uh, the struggles real it's it's daily um, I don't have those thoughts uh, but I do have the challenges of of trying to repair myself, rebuild myself, and make myself better. And I'm I'm here. Uh, I'm still trucking. Uh, so until later, uh, keep the head up. Things will get better.